Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Traveler's Rest, shall we? Well, this game won the January Member's Choice poll, where I asked all Patreon patrons and YouTube channel members to vote on a game for the month, and this game actually tied with God of War Ragnarok, so I'm going to have to fit God of War in either later in the month or next month, and I thought we could start with this game here and just see what it's all about, because I've heard great things. Nosh, good evening. Dan, good evening. Happy New Year. This game is supposed to be something like Graveyard Keeper in feel, maybe a little Stardew Valley, except you don't have a farm, you don't have a graveyard, you've got a tavern. So I have to say, that seems an interesting mix. I'm excited to give it a shot. Kuro, good evening. Good to see you. Thank you so much, my friend. I hope you did as well. I had a great holiday, and I'm having a great 2023 so far. I hope everyone else is as well. So let's dive in. I'm going to try the game um, using a controller. See how that goes? Seems like the right thing to do. All right. So here I am. Uh, and I can design myself, so let's have some fun and do this. All right. <laughs> Look at this. This is These graphics are hysterical. This is great. Uh, okay, so the beard is good. Um, the hair, uh, let's see what choices we have. That we can get this looking... Oh, boy, bandages. Uh-huh. All right, that's good. And let's see about the uh, the hair color. Let's get us a nice, uh, no, this is, this'll do. And then let's get that beard color going. There it is. The beard though, what choices to, oh, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There it is. <laughs> yes, exactly, Dan. That's what I'm, I mean, as soon as I open a game, Dan, and I see that, you know, the interface looks like Stardew Valley. I'm already in, and I see the pixelated graphics akin to Graveyard Keeper Stardew Valley. I'm like, I'm all over it. So that's a good sign. All right, let's change our shirt. We're going to go blue here. We're going to make the trousers blue. Yup, all shades of blue. Uh, let's see. This looks good. This looks good. Let's get these peepers nice and blue. Um, I have to say this, this looks pretty good. Um, we'll change the shoes, of course, to blue. Be as blue as we can, uh, and we'll change our shirt up. We're going all blue. This is our thing here. Just so much blue. Yes, there it is. That is, Pandora, good evening. That's a great question. You know, um... I think I would rather own an inn out of all of those things just because, um, you know, if I own a tavern, people are going to get rowdy and you got to deal with rowdy people. If I owned a blacksmith shop, I could burn myself. I have to lift heavy things. An inn, you know... Yeah, I guess you have some complaints, but it seems minimal of compared to the other two. Kuro, I am with you. There is no blue skin, so we're going to go into it. What about you guys? Would you like to own a tavern, a blacksmith, or an inn? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Except. Welcome to Traveler's Rest. The game is currently in early access, and it is. I purchased it on Steam, which means it's still being developed based on your feedback. If you enjoy your time, please consider leaving a review. All right. So I do love playing indie games, and as you can see, um, we live in that world, right? Where games like Minecraft, Stardew Valley um, are just going to be so iconic that they become staples of design, and 
you look at the clock, it's not in the upper right like Stardew, but it's in the upper left. I've got a beautiful winter scene. I've got my money. I've got the time of day. I've got a action bar on the bottom with different items I can map to it. So this is fantastic. All right, so most people are in the blacksmith. That's great. Blacksmith is definitely cool. I could see that for sure. I burn myself on my own stove, so the idea of having a uh, sweltering hot forge seems like a bad combo for me. Little Timmy, good evening. I know I hear great things. I can't wait to try it. All right. Uh, directional pad to move, left trigger to run, press the D-pad to enter decoration mode. All right. Um... Okay, let's see here. Um, you know, this doesn't seem to be wanting to do what I want it to do. Let me see if I can get this going. Oh, no, wait, wait. No. Um, maybe not. Maybe I lied. Your, your tavern has no available seating. Close your tavern and enter decoration mode. Oh, that's what they want me to do. Um, okay. I wasn't getting the controls. They want me to go to decoration mode, I guess. Hey, hardly able. What is up, my friend? Good to see you. Exactly hardly able. It, it seems like a Stardew Graveyard Keeper mix, which love both of those games. So I'm pumped. The dev, good evening. I know. And I'm 100% the dev, so I'm in. All right, so while in decoration mode, you can place items. To select an object, move the cursor over it with the right trigger or get closer and press the A button. Try selecting the table. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to move over here and I'm going to select the table. Um, the tavern must be closed. Oh, okay. Um, well... Oh, I can move now. Great. And I guess I have to close the tavern? Like... Okay. Oh, no. I can click it to close the tavern. Okay. I'm going to use the mouse then. I was trying to use the controller. It was not working out. Okay. Move it with the mouse and press E to place it. Okay. All right. <laughs> we'll go mouse and keyboard. <laughs> um, okay. So you click on the sign to close it. Um, okay. So we can move our table. And let's go ahead and rotate it. All right. And that looks good. Customers need a place to sit. Place benches so they face the table. Okay. So let's kind of put a bench down. You can rotate it by pushing R. Press Q to add the item to your inventory. Okay. Uh, let's face it the right way. And let's put this one over here. Great. Hey, hey, Alex. Good evening. I bet you had a feeling, my friend. The best tutorial I ever played, Pandora? That's a great question. Um, hmm. I'll have to think about that, but while I'm thinking about that, if anybody in chat has a really good tutorial that you've played that you think was memorable, let me know. I always like the Half-Life 2 uh, introductory tutorial. All right, let's see. Customers will also expect their table to be well lit in the evenings. Try placing the candle on the table. Candles are consumed over the course of days, so you'll need to replace them in the future. Hey, Alex. Thank you so much for that Prime subscription, my friend. Ah, yeah, I knew you'd have an insider look at it. All right, let's pick up the, the candle and put it on the table for him. Exit decoration mode. Get closer to the book on the bar and press E to open your stock. Okay, so um, we need to exit decoration mode. Um, we can just push B to exit it, and then they want us to go over here and push E to open up the stock. Storing food here will add it to your bar's stock. While your bar isn't stocked, you will serve gruel. Gruel only rewards a small amount of money and reputation, and it, as it should be, Gruel is quite terrible. So little Timmy is saying he likes the Mega Man X tutorial stage, and I, 
I don't remember that one, but I will say that any kind of game that smoothly integrates the tutorial as like part of the action and it feels fun, that's the kind of tutorial I want. Um, all right. So we don't have any food here, so we'll just kind of close this up. Press O to open your tavern and serve some gruel. Remember to exit decoration mode. All right. We opened it up. You have a guest. Press H to view it. Okay. Um, new guest available. First customers. Press H. Okay. All right. So first is customers. We need to serve six customers is the quest. Um, and I see if I do this, they're going to give me a table, two stools, and three candles. Oh, Pandora, that's a great one. The Skyrim tutorial is also good. I, those kinds of tutorials that, like, they introduce you to the story of the game. They teach you how to play the game. They feel like a part of the game. Like, when all of that comes together, that's what I'm talking about. Um, all right, so Traveler's Rest. Here's my inventory. Here's my quest. Okay, Tech Tree, XP Upgrades, Recipe Book, um, Porridge. It's a... I need a bucket and water and to make it in the oven. Um, oh, I, I thought it was saying guest. It says quest. Ha ha. Okay. Yes, that makes more sense. Okay, I got the quest. All right. Here comes somebody in a Santa hat. Terrific. A customer has requested an item. Move close to the customer and press E to serve them. Remember that decoration mode must be deactivated in order to do any action. Okay. So here comes a customer in a Santa hat. And um, I'm going to walk close to them and push E. Maybe I have to be behind the bar. I'm not in decoration mode. Oh, okay. I have what they take. Okay, I'm just giving them this. And they're going to the table to sit down. There we go. Okay. Um, thank you, Alex. I had to be behind the bar. I'll tell you what. Um, I like this. I, I saw when I booted up the game that there was a Christmas event going on, holiday event, so that's why you have the Santa hat here. And I love that they go and sit at the table um, in all of the seats that I have available, and they're chowing down. So this is pretty sweet. Um, we're going to accept these rewards. Close up the tavern so you can place your new items. Call last orders by pressing O. This will prevent new customers from enter entering your tavern. Ah, okay. Last call, everybody. Um, pressing O again will force your tavern to close, but you'll lose reputation. Yeah, that's if you really have to get people out. Instead, wait for your customers to leave. We can do that. All right, so we made some money anyway. All right, so we're just waiting for them to finish eating, and there they are, enjoying. I must know how ye clean this place. You don't want to know. So they're doing their thing. They're leaving. It looks like I'm getting some positive reputation from them. Set up a table using your new items. Enter decoration mode, pressing B. Select the item on your action bar using the mouse wheel and press F. Okay. So we're going to go to decoration mode, um, which it actually doesn't appear to pause the game, which um, surprises me. No, no, no. It, yeah, it's not pausing the game. Okay. Uh, all right. So we want to select the table. We've got it here. Uh, and then press F. Okay. And so let's kind of put it like next to this other table, I guess. And then... We can put this stool down. We'll rotate it here. And we'll put this stool down and rotate it here. Open your tavern and serve new customers. Complete more quests to unlock new upgrades. Cool. All right. So I'm liking this. All right. So I'm going to put a candle down now. I don't know if they need one on this table, but I'm going to put one here. Hey, Spellweaver. Good evening, my friend. Happy New Year's to you. Thank you. I'm running the tavern. All right, we're going to open this place up. I push O to open it. 
All tables need a light source, says Alex. Thank you. Okay, great, my friend. Thank you for verifying that. And we need to exit decoration mode. So I'm going to push B to close build mode. And here come people. And they want stuff. And I can serve them uh, gruel. So here you go. Here you go. Here you go. All right. Fantastic. And some people are... Now they're eating. Okay. This place ain't so bad. You're darn right it's not so bad. All right. So we completed the quest. And we are now able uh, to make grog. And we got some porridge. All right. We accept that. You can now serve porridge and grog. Press E near the book and add the porridge to your stock inventory. Um, Spellweaver is asking, is this game new? I don't think it's early access uh, early last year. There you go. Um, thank you, Alex, for answering that question. It's new to me as is, it's the first time I've played it. But yeah, I've seen it for a while. So it's been out for about a year, maybe. Less, maybe a little less than that as early access. Okay. And we're going to go over here and we can open this. And I don't know. Do I want to? Is this how I do it? No. Um, uh, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Um, oh, oh, I see. No, no, no. This is only for food. Okay, that's why I wouldn't take it. So I can put porridge here and go back. And then here I can push Q to open the tap. And we put grog on tap. A table has become dirty. Oh, no. Oh, end of 2020. Okay, so it's a little older than that. Press and hold E next to the table to clean it. Okay, we got to sweep that rag over the table. All right, I'm going to go back, and we can, um, I guess, put grog on that tap as well. And um, this table needs a clean. Yeah, it does look horrible. All right, so I'm going to clean it. Look at me. I'm cleaning the table. This is hilarious. Okay, I've cleaned their table off. They're eating happily. Hey, nobody. Good evening, my friend. Yeah, this game seems great. Oh, it's getting closer to release. That's awesome. I like playing a game when it's, you know, a little bit further along. Very well kept. You know it's well kept. I'm going to clean your table. Excessive cleaning. Oh, wait. This person wants something. They want porridge. You got it. Now we're making money. The world needs more places like this. He says, you got that right, buddy. Yes, Spellweaver. It does feel comfy, doesn't it? That's This is the kind of tavern you want to go and hang out in. Is the king himself coming? So tidy it is. Ooh, we got a Yoda speaker. All right. Good reputation from that ponytailed dark elf. Loved his time here. She wants porridge. She's like, God, your gruel was so good. Oh, we got a doormat, dirty and worn, but it adds to the comfort, just like Spellweaver was talking about. It adds to the comfiness. A hundred percent, Spellweaver. It's like, um, it feels like Graveyard Keeper and Stardew a little bit, and we'll see how the sense of humor plays out, you know, um, but it definitely gives you those kind of like real soothing 16-bit graphics. Yeah, little Timmy, I'm 100% with you. I like to kind of, like, see more than just the beginning shell of the idea as it becomes a little bit... And so this is great. Like, this has been out for, like, a year and a half, almost two years. Perfect. Oh, that's great. You can even farm? Now, now you're talking. Um, all right. Oh, this person wants porridge. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. Um... I let them wait. Move next to the beer tap and press E to pull a beer. Then get closer to the customer and press E to serve them. All right, let's do it. All right, here. Take your stuff and then um, no keg. Here, let me pull a beer. And then here you go. I got it for you. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, wait, the tables are dirty. Oh, my God. We got to clean them up, people. You see how filthy these tables have become? 
One of your customers has dirtied the floor. Oh, they're puking now. Press V to highlight the dirt. Yeah, this is when I, when I said I didn't want to run a tavern. This was why. Um, the vomit. All right. Okay. So, yep, yeah, he's sullied the floor, and he wants some food. Um, all right, I'm going to highlight the dirt. Tavern vision will highlight important objects, such as dirty tables, floor dirt, and important customers. How hilarious is this? Um, oh, it's mud, drop food. Maybe he, they didn't puke. Maybe they just spilled their food. I'm, I'm going to go with that. Maybe not... They didn't spill it, like, out of their throat and onto the floor, but they spilled it out of their bowl. Tavern vision. It's like Witcher sense, you know, except for tavern keepers. Cleaning the floor by selecting the mop and pressing F to close, uh, close to the stain. Okay. So we go over here and we just clean it. There it is. All right, they want stuff. Let's go over there. I need to move a little faster. I hope they don't get upset because I made them wait. Isn't it cool, nobody? It's so much fun. All right, this guy wants a beer. Okay, let's go pull him a beer. Now, I wonder if I can, like... How long I can keep a beer in my inventory. You know what I mean? Like, to prepare for when people want a beer. Let's see what... Let's see how that goes. Like, does it go bad? Or can I just pull a few beers? Oh, Kuro, you're 100% right. Thank you. Yes, you can sh you can use shift to run. Thank you, Kuro. Oh, no, look at that table. I was not paying attention. Oh, my God, it's getting horrible. Clean it off. It turned green. Did you see how dirty that table became? Okay, oh, no. The table's about to explode. It's going nuclear. No, no, other table, dude. Okay, shoo. Oh, gotta clean up this mug. Oh, Tavern Vision did that. Thank you. I'm gonna have a few beer on, on hand. Oh my gosh. Did you see me swing my broom like a weapon? This is hilarious. Okay, so we served five mugs of grog, and as a reward, we got an axe. Now, I don't know what that's for. Um, you've obtained a copper axe. Close your tavern and go outside to chop trees in order to advance your quests and gain new technologies. Oh, hilarious. Yeah, you figure you have to use a broom to, like get rowdy people out or people who are trying to overstay their welcome um it's all on a good day at the tavern <laughs> kuro i can't wait that's so funny okay um oh they need a beer okay oh god tavern keeper vision Oh no. She wants she wants something, but I gotta finish this off. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna close the bar. I'm gonna serve her. Last call, everybody. Alright. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, sweep this up. I wonder if I should have been a farmer like Dad. Uh, they're giving me like more rep. 42 rep. Looks good. All right, look at that. Place is spotless. Okay, so the bar is closed. So um, when they say go outside, do they mean like the backyard or, well, let's see what they mean. There's my bedroom. Um, front door, okay, thank you. All right, we're going out the front door, chop down some trees, see what this is all about. Outside your tavern, you'll find a post box to order supplies and a delivery box, a notice board to accept order quests, hire staff, and check the calendar. Nice! A well to collect water. Natural resources that will allow you to craft new items and harvest fruits and vegetables. Sweet! Hey, someone, good evening, good to see you. Okay, um, 
So this is like a chest. Here's a notice board. Orders, the calendar. I can hire staff. Um, right now, I think I just want to chop down a tree. So here's some trees out here. And you can also use left click, apparently, instead of the F key. It sure does, Nosh. Ooh, we got a whole bunch of stuff. We got chestnut sprouts. We got forestry waste. That's hilarious. Um, hopefully they don't mind that I'm just obliterating the trees. I'll just pretend like this is my property. There it goes. It's coming in. Timber. All right. One more tree. Take that tree. I've got a great swinging motion. Oh, you have to plant them, says Alex. Okay. Cut down the trees, and we got a sawmill. Okay, and a scythe. Great. You've obtained your first work area, the sawmill. Build it outside the tavern using the decoration mode. Select the copper sickle and press F to clear the weeds. Remember that you won't be able to use it, it if uh, decoration mode is enabled. After building the sawmill, exit decoration mode, get close to it, and press E to open its crafting menu. Okay. Someone, this seems like a great game. I'm having a, a really good time with it so far. Okay. So they want me to go into decoration mode, which we do by pushing B. And then we need to place this sawmill. And let's just kind of put it... Um... Now they said in front of my tavern, but that doesn't seem too feasible. I'm going to put it back here. Wait, does every square have to be free? All right, I put it there. Okay, there we go. All right, so we found a place to put this thing. And if I exit decoration mode, um, I can put here. Oh, it's designated like Graveyard Keeper? Okay. Each crafter has a list of recipes. These show the required ingredients, fuel, and time. Click the recipe name to begin crafting. Okay, so I guess we want to make wooden planks. Um, each recipe takes time to craft. Once the timer is full, move closer and press E to collect the items. Okay, so I guess we're doing that now. Uh, and let's see, where's the timer? Oh, there it goes. So it's just kind of automatically happening. So while that's happening, let's go ahead and scythe some stuff. I'm going to push um, H to open the quest screen. Fabricate 20 planks at the sawmill. Oh, okay. So we can collect, but we need to do way more than that. So let's go ahead and do 20. Let's just put in a batch order for three. All right. I'm cutting the grass. Now, this doesn't appear to actually yield any resources using the scythe. It just looks awesome. But it, I guess it clears space for you, so you can build more stuff. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, and... We're almost there. And we got 20 planks, and we got a pick. Use it to extract minerals. Okay. You've obtained the copper pick. You can use the pick to mine seams and get metals and minerals. Remember that decoration mode must be disabled to mine. Indeed. Okay. So is there like a... I'm looking for like a map or something. I guess not. Okay. Uh, this looks like I can mine this right here. All the rocks. Yeah, that rock looks like it has metal in it. It does. All right. Now, the rock kind of stayed there, and I couldn't mine it further. Uh, can I mine up here? No, not really. That's just on the wall. Okay. So let's go around and see what we can mine. We're just walking around in the snow. 
We need we need to coat some proper winter gear. The rocks respawn every day. Okay, cool. Makes sense. You can see that they're permanently there, so or at least at this stage of the game they appear to permanently be there. Mm-hmm. So it's not just running a tavern. I've got to go out and do more serious labor. Mine four metal seams with the copper pick, and we got a smelter, an anvil, and a stump with axe. All right. You've obtained the smelter and the anvil. When you build the smelter, a new working area dedicated to metals will be created. This area cannot overlap any other working area. Okay. Some objects can only be placed in a certain working area. The anvil can only be placed in the metalwork area. Yes, I see what you mean, Alex. This, this part is very much like uh, the Graveyard Keeper kind of working zones. Alright, so I'm going to put this close to my house just so it's easy to access. 